You don't get what you wish for, you get what you work for. But sometimes working can be so hard. But no matter what we choose to do with our lives, it's all but guaranteed that we will have to do things that we just don't want to do. And in those moments, it'll be important to be prepared. So today, let's talk about how to stay disciplined in order to change our lives. If you've been struggling to be productive for a while, you're probably buried under a pile of unfinished work so big you hardly know where to start. You might feel like you're being pulled in a dozen different directions, which only creates more stress and makes the prospect of facing all of that work even more daunting and overwhelming. If that's where you are right now, here's what you should do. Make a list of the three most crucial things you have to get done. Whichever three things are causing you the most anxiety and pick whichever one you think you would most enjoy doing. And then most importantly, just start working. Don't worry about finding the perfect conditions or having the perfect plan. Tell ourselves that the most important thing is that we not let the clock keep on ticking. We can figure everything else out later, whether it's working at a coffee shop or setting up our planner until we started on first task we should look at everything else like a form of procrastination. The key is to overcome the anxiety-induced mental block that's preventing you from doing any work at all. There are all kinds of ways we can try to optimize for more productivity or better efficiency, but unless we're actually consistently able to sit down and apply them, they're not going to do us any good. We're going to be paralyzed by our fear, convinced that the work we have to do is way more frightening than it actually is. So don't pick the most challenging task or even the most urgent. Just focus on whatever you are most likely to finish and get it done so that you can break the cycle of procrastination, relieve your pent up anxiety and start building the positive momentum you need. Let's get dressed. Okay, so the plan for the rest of the day is to clean the apartment, go grocery shopping, exercise, and then have a really nice nighttime routine. Okay, Christmas is coming up soon and I've been trying to think of unique gifts to give to my boyfriend because I feel like some of the most like personalized gifts are the ones that are the most meaningful. I thought a perfect idea would to get him a customized hoodie from Kittle. So I'm going to design that and let's order that together. I've always wanted to make custom hoodies before but I thought it was way too difficult. But Kittle's new print on demand feature allows you to create your own custom hoodie high quality designs and instantly order items with your prints which will be delivered right to your doorstep. That's the perfect solution to make custom gifts for family or friends for the upcoming holidays or even birthdays. You can start out from scratch or choose a template so this was the one I chose to go with. You can even use their AI tools to generate images and different styles. I decided to go with a cat and an avocado instead of the original animals because of an inside joke I have with my boyfriend and I put our names at the bottom of the design as well. After finishing the print, it's so easy to just select the clothing type to be printed on. I chose a hoodie and then choose a color, adjust the print, and with the click of a few buttons, it goes straight to your doorstep in about 10 to 15 days. I never thought it would be so easy to make your own custom gifts, so check out the link below to try Kittle Print now. All right, guys, it is time to go grocery shopping right now. It's about 2.39 and we need a restock. I just put on some pants to go outside in. These are from Brandy Melville and the top is from Zara, I think. I don't know. It's not mine. It's his. The biggest thing that gets between me and productivity on a lazy day is an all or nothing mindset. It's that feeling that says, I don't know where to start today and there's certainly no way I'm going to finish. So the most comfortable decision is to do nothing at all. But it doesn't have to be that way and the only thing we can achieve by indulging that feeling is an even more daunting situation tomorrow. Instead, let's remember that completing even one task is an accomplishment worthy of celebration no matter how many other tasks are left. Each 
time we overcome our anxiety and laziness and get something done, we should be proud of ourselves. Recognizing this is how we build on our successes, becoming more productive month by month before we know it, getting our work done just isn't as hard anymore. All right, guys, I'm going to head to volleyball now and do some exercise with Mike. I've been really loving doing sports recently. Like people always think that exercise is only like going to the gym or like lifting weights or going on a run, but I feel like anything to move your body is a positive thing. So let's go. I'm back from volleyball. It was really really fun and it's really casual but I love to kind of learn new things. Now I have so much laundry to fold as usual. Mike is currently cooking dinner so let's get started on this laundry. As tempting as it can be, it's really important for us to avoid trying to multitask, which, if we're honest, is usually much more distracting than it is productive. Nothing can be focused, concentrated, uninterrupted work where we settle into a state of flow without anything else capturing our attention. But in order to make this happen, there are things we have to do first. And the most important is putting away our phones. There's no greater temptation in the age of social media and short form content than to tell ourselves we're going to take a break only to start scrolling away hours and hours of our day. And unless you have superhuman self-control, it's going to be pretty hard to keep this from happening. So if you have something you need to do and you already know that you don't want to do it, make sure to cut out every incentive in your environment that might pull you away. You might want to play Place your phone in a different room, close distracting tabs on your computer, put everything else on your to-do list aside, and tell yourself that at least for the next 30 minutes without clicking away, you're going to focus on your task and nothing else. And then take a break, refresh, sit down, and do it all again. Lastly, we need to learn to trust that with enough time and effort, results will come, even if they don't come right away. It's very easy to get discouraged when we try really hard, put in a ton of effort one day and wake up the next morning knowing we have to do it all over again. But it does get easier and we have to remember that most of the time, regardless of our goals, progress isn't visible right away. It can take a lot of time for your body to look the way that you want it to. For example, even if you're working out multiple times a week. And the same is true for schoolwork. Finishing your degree takes time and will usually require that you do the same kind of thing over and over for years on end. This can make it really easy to lose motivation, to feel like everything you're doing is a bit pointless and boring and a waste of time. This is especially true when you're just starting to settle into a routine and haven't internalized the rewards of sustained hard work and discipline. So if that's the situation you find yourself in, listen to me. Trust in the process, trust in yourself, and believe that with consistency and time, results will come. The goals that you've set for yourself are within reach. You just have to give yourself the best opportunity and the best chance to achieve them. Productivity and being disciplined is hard. And being productive when you don't have any motivation is even harder. But with the right mindset and approach, even the most unmotivated among us can steadily work towards our goals, pushing past the limits we thought that we had until we achieve the life that we've always wanted. The only thing that can stand in the way is you.